In the mid-1980s, a philosopher and theologian by the name of Dr. James Carse defined these two types of games, finite games and infinite games. A finite game is defined as known players, fixed rules, and an agreed-upon objective. Football, for example. There's always a beginning, middle, and an end, and if there's a winner, then necessarily there has to be a loser. Then there are infinite games. Infinite games are defined as known and unknown players, which means new players can join at any time. The rules are changeable, which means everyone can play however they want. And the objective is to perpetuate the game, to stay in the game as long as possible. Turns out we're players in infinite games every day of our lives. There's no such thing as being number, number one in your marriage. You can be number two, but you can't be number one. There's no such thing as winning global politics. Nobody wins education. You may come in first for the finite amount of time you're at school where we have a set time frame and agreed upon objectives and metrics, but nobody wins education. And there's, definitely, and there's definitely no such thing as winning business. But if we listen to the language of so many leaders, it becomes abundantly clear that they don't know the game they're playing in. They talk about being number one or being the best or beating their competition. Based on what? based upon what agreed upon metrics, timeframes, or objectives. And at the end of the day, when we play in an infinite game with a finite mindset, when we play to win in a game that has no finish line, there are some very predictable and consistent outcomes. The big ones include the decline of trust, the decline of cooperation, and the decline of innovation. And if you look at so many organizations, the, the rat race that they put their people in the finite game, which is everything is about the quarterly or annual numbers, actually over the course of time destroys morale, destroys relationships, and destroys innovation. And the great organizations are the, one who un are the ones who understand that the goals and the metrics are waypoints. They help us understand speed and distance, but they're not the purpose of the game. The only true competitor in an infinite game is ourselves. That's what it is. How do we make our products better this year than they were last year? How do we make the quality of our customer service this better this year than it was last year? How do we make the qualities of our leadership better this year than they were last year? How do we make the culture stronger this year than it was last year? And this is the obsession of the best organizations in the world. They're obsessed with outdoing themselves. And by the way, the funny coincidence is they tend to outperform their competition simultaneously but it's an obsession with improving themselves rather than trying to beat their competition. Because even if you're ahead, you haven't won anything.